Welcome back, Real Rob Report, in an interview with Darrell Revis, a great friend of the show. Um, Darrell, we're talking about uh, the Jets right now. Mm -hmm. um, currently, you're still a part of their team. Yes. So, yeah. what is their two th 2013 forecast if you had to kind of predict kind of how the team would be with, with Darrell Revis on the field with them? What's the ceiling for this team? Uh, I think uh, you know we we got a um, we got a new GM you know John Nizik, um and, and and just looking at um, how things are working over there, um, he's trying to clean house to to get some great players in there, uh, you know uh, you know get get underneath the uh, cap space. Um, and, and get some great guys. I mean, that's what we want there. I mean, we want, we want guys, um, you know, for, for Mark Sanchez to throw to. You know, some 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 uh, some deep threats and and on defense, uh, we, we we got a couple problems that you know linebacker that we need to fix as well. So um, and, and on the defensive line. So I mean, we got the draft coming up, and and I'm sure. Um, you know, we're gonna do well in the draft. We're, we're trying to trying to get a, a defensive end or defensive tackle. Um, you know, because we need a pass rusher. Um, so, I mean, right now we just it's it's it's, it's a rebuilding uh, it's a rebuilding mode right now for us to try to get the right pieces to the puzzle um, for us to be successful in 2013. Can Mark Sanchez get it done? Um, yes, Mark Sanchez can get it done. Um, but we have to put um, the right weapons around him. Um, you know, for him to be successful, um, I think that's always been the thing with Mark, um, and, and um, that should be our focus for, for Mark Sanchez to put the right guys around him for him to be successful. Because if you look at his past, even at USC, he had he had some uh, some great athletes around him, some great guys, and that's what you got to surround him uh, around. Tim Tebow, okay, <laughs> <laughs> you knew that was coming. Tim Tebow. <laughs> Does he make the Mike Robinson fullback switch, or does he stay at quarterback and, and and become successful as a successful quarterback in this league? Man, that's a tough question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, it, well, you've seen him at practice. You've seen him throw. You've seen him, you know, sometimes struggling games, and, and you've seen him play well. Mm -hmm. Just you know, your your opinion on can he make it in this league as a quarterback? Um. You know, I think anything is possible. You know, if you, if you put your mind to it. I mean, I know. More, I mean, I know. Uh, Tim is a, is a hard worker, um, and he's always going to be like that. So, um, it, it really is not my my opinion on, on what he what he does and what he what he's going to do in the future. Um, it depends on um, you know teams if they want him. Um, uh, if they can, if they can, uh, if a team, you know, if he stays with us, or if a team, if let's start with first, if he stays with us, um, try to get him a package, a, a wildcat package that really fits him, and um, and surround him around some some guys that can help him in that wildcat package. Um, too, if he ends up going somewhere else, I think a team will have to focus on that too, of getting him uh, the right wildcat pa package, the, the right coach uh, uh, that that can help him uh, with that system. Money question. You notice the money question. The money question. The money question. Not that's not not real money question. <laughs> not real money. This is the money question. Okay. The best corner back in the league. Oh, you Sherm. I know, don't. I know you gonna get at me. Okay. But I gotta ask the question. Okay. Best corner back in the league. Right now. The best corner back. Healthy Darrell Revis. Ooh. You saying the healthy Darrell Revis? Um. I, I believe I. I Healthy Darrell Revis, I, I think I'll still be um, at the top of that food chain, only because um, the body of work that, that I have put in in the league and the respect that I get, um, you know, from fellow receivers and and, and, and teams. Um, uh, Rich, he, Richard, he he he's on his way. He's on his way. Um, so you're but, saying he's a great corner. Uh, you you can't take that from him. Well, it's, it's only no. I'm not. I'm not going. I'm not going. I'm not going to diss him or anything like that. Um, he's on his way. I mean, it, it, it's 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 more so about the body of work. Um, you know, even this past year, you know, I, I heard him saying he's the best corner. Um, you know, and he's comparing, you know, uh, you know, other people's second year to his, which is understand. I mean, that that's that's cool. I, I like the competitive. I I, I like that in him. Um, but really, if you, if you want to if you want to say who was the best this year, um, he would be in that talks of this year of being the best. But 
um, you know, my pick would be Charles Tillman. It's nothing. It's nothing with. Um, you know what Rich did. I mean, he had eight picks. He he had an unbelievable year. Uh, but I would pick Charles Tillman because of the impact that he made on on the game. Uh, I mean, the dude was it was he was up for the MVP <laughs> at one time earlier in the in, in the season. So um, do, do do got do a bunch of guys. You know, it's a bunch of guys, DBs in the past who have got eight interceptions, um, and, and still haven't even been in the talks of being a, to be in the talks of being the best corner. But is he on his way? Yes, definitely. He, he's on his way, um, and, and much success to him. You know, I like his game. He, he's a tall, athletic corner. He can press you. He can run. He can do a lot of things. But um, I mean, we'll leave it at that and and and, and see. Um, where it goes, I mean, it's great, man. Look, it's it's only gonna make it's only gonna make him comp compete more, and uh, you know, and it's gonna make me compete more, and uh, it's, it's always good. I remember these talks with with uh, um, Nami Osawa, yeah, uh, and um, it's great, man. It's good, it's good competition, and uh, we'll we'll see how how how, how the uh, how the battle goes. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Um, I don't think I got any more of that things to ask you, Darrell. <laughs> you know, to be honest with you, I'm sure there's a lot, a lot of things. Oh, one, one other thing. Um, to, earlier we talked about Commissioner Goodell, and you know, um, I know we're trying to do the HGH testing, fans, um, but the NFL is not giving us any reliable um, information so that we can make the HGH test work. Okay, um, I'm not calling nobody when I leave the house for three hours or more. I'm not calling nobody to let them know where I'm going just because I might get an HGH test, uh, okay? Absurd. If I appeal, <laughs> I don't want to appeal to Roger Goodell who's laying down su the suspension anyway. Yeah. So those are just some of the things for people who don't know what's going on. But in in, in, in your take and in, in, in your dealing in, in, in the NFL in your time, does Roger Goodell have too much power? Um. I, I I I mean I, I think so in, in a way of um, you know just just looking at things and, and how and how things are uh, dealt with um, kind of yeah I mean I mean it's it's, it's two stories to to to, to uh, you know it's two stories to people's sides and and um, you know I think more so uh, you know we, we we as players man I, I feel that we we you know we we make this league i mean we we the best players in the world and, and sometimes um you know you should you should protect us sometimes in, in certain situations uh you know that that players get into you heard it from you know, lockdown, Revis Island, all that. I need a pair of his shoes. I think you like the only NFL player that got his own shoe. You know what I'm saying? That's sweet like that. Now, we got a segment, and I th you've done it before, but we got a segment where basically you take the camera, I mean, you take the mic, you look into the camera. It's called FaceTime. You talk to your fans. You talk to fans of Darrell Revis. I don't care if you want to curse out somebody that <laughs> cut you off coming over to work out this morning. But it's your time, what you want to tell your fans about what you got going on, foundations, whatever. You need whatever, it's on you, big dog. What's up, fans? This is Darrell Rivas here, um, cornerback of the New York Jets. Uh, you know, I just want to say yo, I'm, I'm working my butt off, um, rehabbing my butt off to get back. And, um, you know, Rivas Island will be back on the field soon. So uh, just keep on supporting. Um, I don't know. We'll see where my future leads, you know, where it leads to, if I still be a Jet or not, but uh, it, it really doesn't matter. Uh, you know, I just want to get back on the field and play football. So, uh, like I said, keep supporting, man. And um, I want to give a shout out to my boy, uh, Mike Robinson, for having me on his show. Awesome show. Got to show love and support. Hey, appreciate it, man. Thanks.